In this video, we shall discuss how to calculate the tax liability of an individual. Tax liability is nothing but the amount of tax an individual has to pay to the income tax department. So the amount of tax will be calculated based on the income that he is earning. That is based on the total income. We are going to calculate the amount of tax that the individual has to pay. Uh, so for calculating the amount of tax, there are two different rates. One is as per the old tax regime. The other is the new tax regime. So first let us understand what is the old tax rate. As per the old tax rate, we are classifying an individual into three categories based on his age. If the individual is less than 60 years, he will be other individual. If his age is between 60 to 80 years, he is a senior citizen. And if his age is above 80 years, he is a super senior citizen. So that is what I have given here. Other individual, senior citizen and super senior citizen. So if his age is below 60 years, the rate of tax will be if his income is 250,000. If the income is 250,000 or less than 250,000, he need not pay tax. The tax is nil. If the income is between 250,000 to 5 lakhs, he will pay 5 percentage. If the income is between 5 lakh to 10 lakh, he will pay 20 percentage and above 10 lakhs, he will pay 30 percentage. In the same way, I have given it for senior citizen and super senior citizen. You you have to buy heart all these tax rates. Only if you buy heart these tax rates, you will be able to work out the answer. Okay, what is the new tax rate? As per the new tax rate, we are not going to classify individual based on the age. Whatever his age, irrespective of his age, there is only one tax rate. In the old tax rate, based on the age of the individual, we are differentiating the rates of tax. But as per the new tax rate, there is no differentiation. Whatever is his age, he has to pay this tax. tax. So the first 2,50,000, it is nil. 2 lakh to 5 lakhs, he will pay 5 percent. 5 lakh to 7 lakh 50,000, he will pay 10 percentage. 7 lakh 50 to 10 lakh, he will pay 15 percentage. 10 lakh to 12 lakh 50, 20. 12 lakh 50 to 15 lakh, 25 percentage. 15 lakh and above, he will pay 30 percentage. So this is the new tax rate. So what is different here when we are calculating new tax rate is the total income calculation will differ. I told you that on his total income, on the total income of the SSC only, we are going to apply these percentage and we will calculate the amount of tax payable. So this total income calculation will be different if they are following old tax rate or new tax rate. It is at the option of the taxpayer. He can choose either the old rate or he can go for the new rate. If he is going to follow the new tax rate, then certain deductions he cannot claim. If the individual is following the new tax rate, he cannot avail certain deduction. What are those deductions? Under the head salaries, standard deduction, LTA and HRA. These three deductions he cannot claim. Under house property, interest on loan for self-occupied property and provisions for vacancy period. That also he cannot claim. Then while calculating deductions, Deduction under section 80C, 80D, 80E and 80TTA. He cannot claim all these deductions. So when total income is calculated, the SSC has to calculate total income without availing these deductions. If he is following the new tax rate. If he is following the old tax rate, he can claim all the deductions and on that total income, he will be calculating the old tax rate. Okay, moving on to other things. After calculating the amount of tax based on the rate specified in the above slide, the next is rebate. Rebate will be applicable for individuals whose income does not exceed 5 lakhs. If the total income of the individual does not exceed 5 lakh, he can claim a deduction up to 12,500 as rebate. Okay, then surcharge. 
So surcharge will be applicable to individuals whose income exceeds 50 lakhs. Surcharge will be applicable to individuals whose income exceeds 50 lakhs. And this is the rates. If the income is 50 lakhs to 1 crore, 10 percentage. 1 crore to 2 crores, 15 percentage. 2 crores and 5 crores, it is 25 percentage. Exceeds 5 crores, it is 37 percentage. Okay. So, rebate will be deducted. Rebate will be deducted from the tax, tax amount and surcharge will be added. The percentage of surcharge that we calculate will be added. So, these two things depends upon the question. If the income is less than 5 lakhs, we will claim rebate. If the income is about 50 lakhs, we have to add surcharge. The next is health and educational shares. This is a compulsory addition on the tax tax amount it is calculated at 4 percentage the health and educational chest is compulsory and it is calculated at 4 percentage on the tax amount now let us see the format of calculating tax liability okay so the first i'm starting my calculation with total income if you don't know how to calculate total income i have uploaded Tutorials in my YouTube channel, you can watch those video for calculation of total income. So, this is the total income. With this total income, your first step is you have to add agricultural income. If you have agricultural income in the question, we will add it. If you don't have agricultural income, you can skip this step. So, if we have agricultural income, we will add it. The answer that you get is called as aggregate income. Okay, so if we have agricultural income, we will add it. If you don't have, you don't have to calculate aggregate income. You will start your answer from total income itself. Is that clear? Okay, after calculating aggregate income, your next step is you have to calculate tax at special rate. Before calculating tax at special rate, under aggregate income, the answer that you have calculated, you draw two lines because this value we will not take into take into account for our calculation okay so tax at special rate tax at special rate means for certain incomes the rate of tax varies so what are the income for which we will apply tax at special rate the first one is casual income what is casual income how to calculate casual income i have uploaded a video under the head income from other sources so do watch that video if you have casual income in the question, for that income you will charge 30% tax and bring the amount to the inner column. Then the next income is short term capital gain under section 111A. What are the gains? Short term asset which will come under 111A? I have uploaded separate tutorials. Watch that in my YouTube channel. So, if there is any short term capital gain under section 111A, the percentage is 15 percentage. Calculate it and write the amount in the inner column. Then, long term capital gain under section 112A, it will be calculated at 10 percentage. Write the amount in the inner column. Then, any other long term capital gain apart from 112A, if you have other long term capital gain in the question, then for that capital gain, you will calculate 20 percentage. Write the amount in the inner column, bring the answer to the outer column. So for these four incomes, we will calculate tax at this specified rate. Casual income 30 percentage, short term gain under section 111A 15, long term gain 112A 10, other long term gain 20 percentage. So after calculating this, the next is tax at normal rate. For calculating tax at normal rate, you have to remember one thing. In the question, if you don't have any tax at special rate, if you don't have these four, it is not necessary that always we will have tax at special rate. In the question, if you don't have cash flow income, don't have short term gain under 111A, don't have long term gain, don't have other long term gain, then tax at normal rate will be calculated either on this aggregate income or total income. If you have agricultural income, on aggregate income, you have to calculate tax at normal rate. If you don't have agricultural income, on this total income, you will calculate tax at normal rate. Okay. But if you have tax at special rate, 
if we don't have tax at special rate we will take this values directly if you have tax at special rate what should you do from the aggregate income or total income whichever is applicable if you have aggregate income take aggregate income if you don't have aggregate income take total income from this value you have to deduct deduct tax at special rate that is for example your total income is 10 lakh for example your total income is 10 lakh rupees and you have casual income at 50000 you have 50000 rupees casual income and you have other long term gain 1 lakh rupees you have only these two incomes in the question so now how will you calculate tax at normal rate 10 lakhs from the 10 lakhs you have to deduct this 50000 and 1 lakh because out of 10 lakhs we have already charged tax for 50000 and 1 lakh rupees so from 10 lakh deduct 50000 deduct 1 lakh in the balance amount you will calculate tax at normal rate okay i will repeat this once again if you don't have tax at special rate whatever is the aggregate income or total income you will charge tax if you have tax at special rate from the aggregate income or total income deduct the tax on special rate for whatever income you have charged tax at special rate deduct those values on the balance amount you will tax you will charge tax at normal rate okay now the slab the slab will vary based on the age of the assessee this i will explain when we are doing the problem okay now after this so we will calculate tax at normal rate we will get one answer here you will add that you have tax at special rate you have tax at normal rate you have one answer here from this answer your next step is tax on agricultural income if you have added agricultural income now you have to deduct tax on agricultural income if you have not added agricultural income this step you will skip this step okay then deduct rebate when will you claim rebate only when the income is 5 lakh rupees so this depends on the question if your income is less than 5 lakh rupees you will claim rebate otherwise you will not claim rebate then add surcharge when will we add surcharge only when the income is above 50 lakhs so if the income is above 50 lakhs you will add surcharge if the income is not above 50 lakhs you will not add it okay so these three things depends upon the question if you have agricultural income you will deduct tax on agricultural income if you if your income is less than 5 lakh you will claim rebate otherwise you will not claim income is more than 5 lakhs you will not claim rebate if the income is above 50 lakhs you will claim you will add surcharge if the income is not above 50 lakhs you will not add surcharge so these three things depends on the question then the next is health and educational chest this is this must be added this is a compulsory addition how to calculate health and educational chest whatever amount that you have in the amount column at last whatever amount you have on that amount you will calculate four percentage bring the answer to the outer column if you add it the answer that you get is called as gross tax liability this answer is called as gross tax liability after calculating gross tax liability you have to deduct tax deducted source and tax paid in advance if you deduct these two items the answer that you get is net tax payable that is net tax liability this net tax liability should be rounded off to the nearest multiple of 10 that is if the last digit is not zero for example the net tax liability is 12998 you have to round it off to the nearest 10 nearest 10 means it is 13000 okay so this is rounding off to the nearest 10 round okay in this video i will explain only how to calculate tax at normal rate how to calculate tax at special rate how to calculate rebate tax on agricultural income tax deducted at source all these things i am uploading it as a separate video okay so now let's move on to the problems 
this is the first question that I have taken. So we will see the question. The particulars of income of Mr. X aged 62 years are as follows. Taxable income from house property is given. Profit and gains of business is given. Capital gain in respect of short term asset is given. Capital loss in respect of long term capital asset is given. Uh, we have to find out his tax liability. So this is the question. So once you see a question from tax liability, your first step is you have to calculate gross total income. How to calculate gross total income? By adding income from five heads. Salaries, house property, business or profession, capital gain, other sources. Okay, now look into the question. Do you have salary income? No, we don't have salary income. So I am skipping the first income, salary income. The next is house property. Look into the question. Do you have income from house property? Yes, it is given. House property income is given. So write it in the particulars column. Income from house property. What is the amount? It is 27,000. I am writing the amount in the outer column. Then the third head of income is business. See, it is given in the question. Profits and gains of business. It is 9,80,000. So I am writing it in the particulars column and bringing the amount to the amount column. 9,80,000. Then capital gain in respect of short term capital asset. The next heading is capital gain. So under capital gain, Short term capital gain is given as 5000 rupees. I am writing it in the outer column. Then capital loss in respect of long term capital asset. So you all know that income tax is for income not for loss. If you have loss you can adjust the loss with income. But capital loss long term capital loss can be adjusted only against long term capital gain you cannot adjust it with any other income so for a better understanding of this chapter i have uploaded another video how, how to do set off and carry forward of losses do watch that video as of now long term capital loss can be adjusted only with long term capital gain in this question we don't have any long term capital gain so we are carrying forward, we are carrying forward this capital loss to the next year. So I am writing it in the inner column, long term capital loss to be carried forward minus 20,000. Okay, I don't have long term gain, so I cannot adjust this loss this year. So I am carrying forward this loss to the next year. So we have added all the incomes, find the total. The gross total income is 10 lakh 12,000. In this question, we do after calculating gross total income, we have to deduct deductions from section 80C to 80U. In this question, we don't have any deductions. So I am putting a dash in the outer column and bringing down the same answer. This answer is called as total income. Okay, after calculating total income, we have to start to calculate tax liability. For calculating tax liability, your first step is to check whether you have agriculture income in the question. Look into the question. In this question, we don't have agricultural income. If you have agricultural income, you have to add agricultural income and calculate aggregate income. In this question, there is no agricultural income. So you don't have to calculate this aggregate income. You can proceed with this total income. Is it clear? Okay. Okay, now we have calculated the total income. So, as per the previous slide, the total income is 10 lakh 12,000. I am drawing two lines under it. In this question, we don't have aggregate income. So, we are going to proceed with the total income. The next step is we have to calculate tax at special rate. As I already discussed with you, for casual income, Short term capital gain under section 111A, 
long term capital gain 112a other long term gain we have to calculate tax at special rate in this question we don't have cash flow income short term gain is given see capital gain in respect of short term asset is given but it is not under 101a that is triple 1a and we have only long term capital loss we have loss in long term capital asset so we don't have tax at special rate i am putting a nil in the outer column then tax at normal rate so tax at normal rate since we don't have tax at special rate for the total whole of the total income for 10 lakh 12000 we are going to calculate tax at normal rate okay before proceeding to calculation we have to look into the age of the individual the age of the individual is 62 years 62 means he comes in the senior citizen category so for a senior citizen the rate of tax is on rupees 3 lakhs nil next 2 lakh 50000 it is 5 percentage next 5 lakhs it is 20 percentage and balance it is 30 percentage okay now how to uh, calculate tax for him see this is my rough work column i am writing in my rough work what is the total income my total income is 10 lakh 12000 write it in the rough work column and compare it with the first value first tax lab see it is 3 lakhs which is less 10 lakh 12000 or 3 lakhs which is less 3 lakhs is less so we have to calculate tax for 3 lakhs for 3 lakhs the tax is nil so i am putting dash in the inner column then after doing this deduct this value whatever value you have got here deduct that value from this and this value so deduct 3 lakh rupees if you deduct 3 lakh rupees the answer that you get is 7 lakh 12000 write it in the next line so i am writing 7 lakh 12000 now compare this 7 lakh 12000 with the second value the second value is 2 lakhs which is less 2 lakhs is only less so for 2 lakhs 5 percentage will give you 10000 rupees i am writing 10000 in the inner column now deduct this value this deduct this 2 lakhs from this answer minus 2 lakhs okay now what is the answer from 7 lakh 12000 if you deduct 2 lakhs your answer will be 5 lakh 12000 now compare which is less 5 lakh 12000 or 5 lakhs 5 lakhs is less so 5 lakh into 20 percentage your answer will be 1 lakh okay now deduct this 5 lakhs from this answer minus 5 lakhs the answer that you get is 5 lakh 12000 minus 5 lakhs you will get 12000 rupees now what do we have here next balance that means whatever balance that you have got here on this balance you have to calculate 30 percentage so my balance is 12000 12000 into 30 percentage 1000 into 30 percentage the answer that we get is 3600 write it in the inner column now add all these things the answer is 113600 so this is actually very simple after this step we have to deduct tax on agricultural income in this problem we don't have agricultural income so i am skipping that step step is we have to deduct rebate when will we deduct rebate only when the income is less than 5 lakh rupees see in the question the income is more than 5 lakh rupees so we we will not claim rebate the next is surcharge when will we claim surcharge only when the income is above 50 lakhs in this problem the income is not above 50 lakhs so these three categories will not come i am skipping all the three and moving on to the next one the next one is health and educational chess this health and educational chess is a compulsory addition how to calculate this health and educational chess whatever amount that you have got here on that amount in this problem i have 113600 into whatever amount we have on that amount we will calculate 4 percentage so if i calculate 4 percentage on this value the answer that i get is 4544 i am writing it in the outer column 
and if we add it with the previous answer the answer is 1,18,144. This answer is called as gross tax liability. After adding health and educational chest, the answer that you get is gross tax liability. After calculating gross tax liability, we have to deduct tax paid in advance and tax deducted at source. In this problem, we don't have any. So, I am putting a dash in the outer column and bringing down the same answer 1,18,144. This is my net tax liability. After calculating net tax liability, you have to round it off to nearest 10. So, if I round off, my answer will be 1,18,140. This is the answer. So, I hope you understood how to calculate tax liability when there is no tax at special rate, when we don't have rebate, when we don't have agricultural income and when there is no tax deducted at source. Thank you for watching.